y'all it's your girl candy Kane here with touch the world radio show how y'all doing how y'all doing we gonna have a special special show today we are talking about the legendary gospel gangsters y'all we gonna talk about it from the rooter to the tutor all right y'all my brother he had been in here on time he would be on the screen cleaning stuff oh jesus brother brother pray us in please sir Father God, we come for you, come to you thankful right now. We ask that you continue to cover and keep us and cap your angels around us, Father God. We ask that you continue to heal our communities, Father God, and ask that the Holy Spirit be present at all times and we rebuke all evil things, Father God. We ask that everything be done in your will, your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, as you can see, I have two of my brothers in the house today. Two of them that I'm probably going to have to fuss at. You already know. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I'm the brother off the top. <laughs> you can't get rid of me now. I'm here. <laughs> this is how it goes. That voice you hear is one of the legendary gospel gangsters. Chili, baby. It's up what's in the it, house with up, us today. What's, up with man? what's, up with what's, what's going, going on, on, brother? What's going on, California? <laughs> <laughs> you know I love California. It was just like, man, I was just, I was rolling. I was rolling right here on the street right now when I was coming to the studio and it was just like, I was talking and I was like, man, it's crazy. It's just like nothing like California. Cause I yeah. seen the, I seen the homie, he rolled up on side me in a lack and like a seven eight lack and he had it lifted up and he had the switches and everything. And it was like the California air and it's like, <laughs> you know, some people say California a bad place, but man, I love 
Cali. No place like Cali. Ain't no place like home, man. No, no place, place like it. Cali. No that's place it. like the air. No place like the beach. God got us here in California for a reason. So everybody that's a believer in California, he got you here for a reason. Let's work it out. Let's work it out, y'all. Work it out, work it out. And in the middle, we have our light-skinned brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rare Breed is in the building today, y'all. Yep. Yeah, we here. yeah, yeah. And thanks to Brother here. This is how we came about this interview with Chili Baby so that we can show love and support to Solo, who unfortunately, um, he left us. He unfortunate for us. Beautiful thing for him because he's now with the one and only God, our Savior, yeah. resting and probably yeah. just got a rap concert going on right now, y'all. And we mm. missing it. OK, we know. missing it. Yeah. But we have a uh, chili baby here and he's going to take us down memory lane yeah. and tell us about that brother love between him and, and solo and TikTok and all the ins and outs of the gospel gangsters, and, y'all. And may, God willing, we will have a surprise caller up in here in a minute. Yes, yes, yes. You know, uh, to tap in with that history, you know. Our yeah, brother, for sure. You know. Most definitely. So, look, yeah. y'all, we're going to get ready to take a commercial break. We'll be back. So, won't y'all go ahead, share, share, share. Tell everybody to tune in. And if you're on Facebook, share it. Share it on your page. Share it everywhere. Tell them, tune in to the Touch the World radio show. The Gospel Gangsters is in the building, y'all. Hey, man. We'll be right back tune to the in, Touch the World in. radio show. <laughs> Bring your youth, family, friends to Hip Hop Church LA Outreach Ministry. We have services on the third Sundays during the months of February, April, June, August, October, and December. We have artists who come and minister in rap, crump and praise dance, singers, and spoken word. Gigi Sweet is our DJ who keeps the praise party rocking. Service begin at 5 p.m. For more information, you can go to hiphopchurchla.org, call us at 323-557-3803, or email info at hiphopchurchla.org. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And always remember, don't get it twisted, God has always existed. Hey family, this is Lady Eva J. I wanted to take this time to have a serious conversation with you. I have been given a new assignment to touch the world in a different way. Our lives have all been shifted in this recent pandemic and we have lost family, friends, and loved ones. Here's the hard part. No one wants to talk about being insured. Well, my new assignment is to educate families on how to financially invest in themselves while also making sure they're covered correctly when God calls them home. Do you have life insurance? Do you know what you really have? Are you sure you're covered in the correct way? Have you invested so you don't have to pay life insurance your whole life? Yes, I said your whole life. Well, let's talk about it. Let's make sure our families don't have to find money to lay us to rest. Call me at 323-494-9585. Once again, that's 323-942-9585. And let's have a brief conversation about it. After all, I'm here to serve you. This is Lady Eva J, and I'm out. Still have me fly 
flashbacks, chunking them, getting through in the hole. All the empty nights alone, plus the rigmarole. As I banged on my so-called enemies, out of control. A blemish on the family name, stain on my soul. Can't explain what I hold inside. Being stripped of my manhood as well as my pride. You see the tears in the well of my eyes. Nevertheless, I do my best to be blessed. Oh yes, life is like a vapor. Here one day and gone the next. So many losing their lives and catching AIDS from sex. Show respect each day. He give us power to live. To turn the negative to positive. The knowledge is his. Over the years, I try to share with my peers. Just trusting the Father. I guarantee he'll conquer your fears. Grandma told me long time ago I was forgiven. But she'd be proud if she was still living. I'm still giving. But when I go astray, I hear my grandma say. Just watch. I'm an original storyteller. Quit the soccer fella, drop the chatter, won't get wet up from a stolen number. This is how it was in the days that I lived. Chasing the chips on the strip, drunk, blazing the split. Thanks to change, I came a long way. Like the old Jays, my soul safe and I hold faith on a road straight, give him old breaks. This is for your sake, checking my life to live in the pits. But the change came, now the game is a fix. Do the rip and hit you with this real. This dick keep back and just feel this. If it's nothing else, life is what you will get. So recognize the game when it's all in your face. The bread of life is in this all, get a taste. Don't let your life go to waste, homie. Just keep seeking. Keep seeking and keep reaching and keep reading. Keep eating and keep peeping and keep believing. Lord have mercy on don't know, so keep sleeping. But when I go astray, I hear my mama say, Just watch. Just watch. What's up, y'all? We back to the Touch the World radio show. I'm in the building, y'all, with the gospel gangsters, y'all. We're going to get down with it real quick because we got our boy Chili Baby in here, and he going to take us all the way back to the Man, beginning to when what Solo do. got him to go to church, y'all. You already know. Um, <laughs> man, it was, it was crazy, like, you know, because first, Solo got saved between out of us two, and then he went to church, and he made TikTok. And then Solo came and got me. He used to, because we was from the same neighborhood. So he used to pick me up at the dope spot. I had dope in my pocket, a gun on my lap. We'd be, he'd drive around the corner. He'd minister to me, tell me about the father. And then he'll pull right back up in front of the dope spot and say, all right, you ready to go to church with me now? I'd be like, no, nah, homie, that's for you. You know, that's, that's, that's for you. That's not for me, man. You know, you know, I'm out here. And, and you know, I was kind of a little mad at him at first when he, went to church because you know that was that was my boy you know what i'm saying like when you're on the streets you know it's a thing where you got to watch your back you know he was like that was my brother my best friend my business partner i mean i didn't have to watch my back with him he was my eyes in the back of my head so when he left the game and he went to the father i was a little upset because i was like i don't got nobody out here now i'm, I'm out here it's just me by myself you know so and the father long story short the father put me into a situation well, I had to call on him Wanna too. Do it. Yeah, I had to call on him too to where, you know, I got into some altercations with some dudes um, in the neighborhood and everything like that. And it, it was coming down to gunplay and all of that stuff. And then Solo was like, man, why don't you, you know, before you go kill all them dudes right now, because I know you're going to do what you're going to do. So let me, let me pick you up real quick, man. Let me just go with you, you know. So I'm like, all right. So we hop in the car. We drive up when we go up there. It was, it was like they seen us coming and they knew my bro already. So when we both like driving down the street and hop out the car, everybody start running in their houses, closing Double their doors. Trouble. Yeah, like man, these dudes was coming with their guns and this and and I had was like, where my jewelry at? Where, where the devil robbed me of everything. So I'm like, where my jewelry at? Where my? I was a, you know, it was my birthday. I was a young alcoholic, so I was drunk as all outdoors. You know what I mean? So. When I went back the next day to get everything, everybody's running in the house. They seen me and Solo, and then they was like, we don't know where nothing at. And just for some reason, I just said, all right, 
and I hopped in the car and tripped off myself because I ain't never in my life just said somebody said they took something from me and I said all right wow so solo was praying the whole time you feel me so then after that he was like man you should just he didn't done it for me man he could do it for you man you know you you know how we get down you know that you know you look at me it's like different everything is different my life is changing everything is changing man all the stuff miles was talking about when we was young <laughs> because we used to walk in the house with guns and bandanas and everything and she'd be like y'all gonna rap for the lord y'all gonna rap for the lord you ain't gonna be out there in the streets like that and then he was like man look all the stuff that mom was saying man is really like it's true like for real so he was like, "Won't you go with me?" So I went to church with him, and, and then when the when the father was getting ready to do the altar call and everything, you know, he didn't have to tell me twice. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, everybody say all the time when you go to church, you know, ah, and he was just talking right to me, like he was really talking right to me because mm -hmm. I was going through <laughs> some everything. You know what I mean? So he was really talking to me. So it was like my own experience. You know, everybody say he was talking to me, but that was my really experience to where I got up. Like, Solo didn't have to say, hey, man, you want to mm -hmm. nobody. You know what I'm saying? I got up, and I knew at that point in my life that my life was finna change, and it was finna change for the better. And whatever I was doing right there, it, it, it wasn't it. You know how these young kids now, they like, ah, ah, I don't like them pants. That ain't it. Them shoes, no, that ain't yeah. it. Look, that lifestyle I was living, that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? So once I figured out that wasn't it, I gave my life to the Father. And when I gave my life to the Father, I ain't, I ain't been back since then. And it's been, you know, ever since 1993, gospel wow. gangsters hit the scene, gang affiliated. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it, it's been it's been ever since then because, you know, it was either like, you know, when, when a lot of people don't know that gangbangers are really extremists. We're extremists. So we either going to do one extreme or we're going to do the next extreme. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're going to either be a gangster and be all out shooting people or you're going to be a dope little and all out sell dope. You know what I'm saying? So when it came to the father, I was an extremist. Mm. You feel me? I'm going to go in. all the way in. All you feel me? In. I went all the way in for the devil. I was quick to grab that strap, go rob you, put a gun in your mouth. So I'm quick to tell you about the father and let that shoot out my mouth. You know what I mean? So once once the father changed my life, he changed my walk, he changed my talk. You know, that was it. I ain't been, and we, ain't been, we ain't been back since. You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. And this gospel gangsters, I mean, literally forever. Like, I'm, I'm literally like... My bro done passed away. Literally, like, if something happened to me, I'm telling y'all on the airways right now, if I pass away, y'all remember this. This is gospel gangster, and this is Jesus Christ, the Father forever. This is Yahweh forever. For if y'all ain't never heard nothing else, this is Yahweh forever. Just If you don't know nothing else about me, just know that. This is the Father forever in a day. Every breath I take, every time my eyes blink, every time my heart beat, it's for the Father. It's for nothing else, man, because without him, I wouldn't be sitting at this table right now. Amen. Amen. So as you made your transition, now when we all make our transition, then you know, we we, we go on to the house and we these baby Christians. Right. We, then we, we got to right. you know, right. right. skip back a yeah. little bit right. Some, right. a few times. Right, right, right. Maybe I'm only talking about myself. Right. But right. we step back No, you're not, talk, you're not talking about yourself. How was it with that transition with the other homies that didn't, that wasn't riding with y'all with Jesus. Well, you know, the transition for us, it wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, the most transition for us was a, a mind transition. Is you, mm. We was fighting inside of ourselves. Because mm. with the homies in the hood, you know, they love it. They already knew what was cracking because I'm one of the dudes in my neighborhood who was there when it started. I was one of the solos, the same dude. We was generals in our neighborhood. Like, when some of the stuff started in our neighborhood, we was the ones made up the name, and this going to be your name, and we going to do this. So when we started making a transition, you know, I think Solo fought with one of the homies before, and that was it. But when we made that transition, the homie went back and said, hey, homie, they serious. Like, wow. like these dudes are serious. So, and and every everybody know when you're a real game bang, if you say you serious, you serious. So it wasn't nothing that my hood could have told me, anybody can to, to tell me to not change and to not, to be with the father because his his word was so strong to me and I seen everything so evident it was you know it was ridiculous so when it when it came to me in the neighborhood it was like you know Jesus Christ that's a no brainer you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying it was like come on bro give your life to the Lord that's a no brainer brainer stop drink that's a no brainer like mm -hmm. stop stop doing this street stop shooting that's a no brainer for me 
So I meant, yeah, like like you say, when you go to church and you baby Christians, you have that little fall back. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you, my pastor has so much love. And if it weren't for the love, you know how I say love covers a multitude of sins. So yeah. it was like, okay, Chili. Okay, Solo. Okay, TikTok. Come on. Come on. I know, but come on. You know what I mean? And she bring us, reel us right back in there. Mm -hmm. With us right back in there. So to me, a lot of times when you're a baby Christian and you fall and you fall, you know, she used to tell us, if you could look up, you can get up. You know what I mean? So yeah. we, she's like, you fall back, it ain't over. You look up, you can get up. So yeah. that used to be our motto. You know what I'm saying? If you can look up, you can get up. So, you know, we, we all have our faults and none of us are perfect in the world. In the audience or, or, or even on us right here. So when uh, when we fall, we look up, we can get up. We can long get as up. we can say, Father, forget us, forgive us. Long as we can repent. Long as we got that heart to repent. And we don't have that malice heart to repent. Mm -hmm. Long as we can repent, the Father can clean us up and send us right back on our way. And then show us how to mature from that. You know what I mean? You know how like when somebody say, do something to you, like, oh, I forgive you, but I don't forget. It's the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the same. You know what I'm saying? You don't forget. You know what I'm saying? That fall you had, you can't forget. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you you know that the Father forgive you. You keep running. You keep running this race. The good fight. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight you know, and that's what fight. Solo did. He fought the good fight of faith all the way till you passed. You know? Amen. Well, look, y'all. We got our special call in guest on the line. For cheesy. We got him on the line. Bankhead, you ready to pull him on through? Hey, TikTok, what's hey. going on, baby? Hey, hey. What's up, Tick, baby? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's What's going on? What's going on? What's I love you, love. What's up, baby? Do? I love you more, bro. I love you more, bro. You know how I do? I'm just listening uh, listen to you. Lift him up, man. Brought back good memories, man. I'm like, there you go, boy. Look at that ministry. That fire shot up in his bones like them <laughs> You already know, fam. <laughs> well, listen, y'all. We got I'm one of the gospel gangsters on the line, y'all. This is TikTok. He gonna come in and he gonna fill in some of the gaps here with Chili Baby as they go and reminisce back down memory lane. Sound like some good memories there, oh, y'all. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> some of the best, man. <laughs> Whoa, where you left off, Chili? What, what you done? Um, uh, man, listen, you, you can start. You can start wherever you want, man. We, we we still at the beginning. I don't know. Okay, yeah. so we left oh, talking. No. You coming? So this, when did TikTok this, no, come on this, into the fold? No, this is, we talking about when you came in after like you and Solo already had got saved already, and then Solo came and got me, and then brought me back, and then that's when I met you. So you know that's what we have okay. right now to like when all of us came into Pomona and came into the church together, like you know. Hey man, did you tell him how you did not like me because all I had was red? No, home? I didn't tell him that yet. <laughs> no, he didn't <laughs> tell us that. He didn't tell us that. But see, but see, but see, you gotta understand, like you know, what I'm saying, you know, Chili Baby was, uh, was a real crip. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what it was. And I'm a real Don Moo, so it was like uh -oh. God had to, God had to, we had to look at each other through the eyes of love and not through the eyes of the hood, not through the eyes of the stigma. That 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 we allowed to be placed on us by society, you know what I mean? So yeah. I I understood what Chili was still at. So at that time, I just had solo deal with him, like you know what I'm saying. Boom! While I stood in the corner, I just be praying. Solo, I'll go to the spot, holler at Chili Baby, whoa, 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 dropping the seeds on him, dropping them seeds on him. You know what I'm saying, Chili Baby just was reluctant. He's like, man, I, I I hear you, big bro, but you know what I'm saying. I'm doing me right now. But boy, I'm telling you, but when that Holy Spirit got a hold of Chili Baby. <laughs> it was over with, man. You couldn't over find with. a more dedicated, a more loyal, a more, a more uh, solid believer. You know what I mean? Because at that time, I was, I was, I was fresh. You know what I'm saying? Coming to Christ. You know what I'm saying? Solo was fresh coming to Christ. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and it was a little separation between between him and Chili Bay. Chili Bay was still doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Chili Bay was, you know, y'all gotta understand what well, Chili Bay was that guy. You got to understand. Did, did, did you go that deep? Nah, no, I didn't go that deep yet, man. We just, you okay, know, well, we, we, we had to begin. We're going to tell the testimony. Chili <laughs> 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 Baby was that guy. Hey, so, you know, like 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 the rich ruler, like he told, uh, he, what, what Jesus told him, saying, give up all you have and follow me. He couldn't do that because he had too much. At that time, Chili Baby had a lot going on. He had money. He had this from a worldly standpoint. So he was like, what I need God for? And you know, I love you so long, but you know, I'm doing me right now. You know what I'm saying? So that so that Sony heart was still there. But now I see the dedication in Solo. Solo did not 
stop. I'm talking about every single day. Yeah. Don't get up. Do what we're going to do. Because I had to, you got to understand, at this point, I was, I had to go stay with Solo for a while. You know what I'm saying? Because my dad and stuff was still doing some things and that, 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 that I wasn't comfortable around. You know what I'm saying? So mom and Solo opened their heart and they bored me. You know what I'm saying? Like, as if I was a son and let me in. So I had to go literally stay with Solo. So at this time, I'm seeing Solo's dedication, man, every day. Come on, chick. He waking me up. I'm like, man, what's up? What are we doing? Oh man, we got we got to go around. Oh, like, okay, boom. So we go around there. Boom. He minister to Chili Baby. Boom, boom. I stayed in the car. You know what I'm saying? Because I could see. I already know it's Chili Baby ain't there yet. So he look at me and I look at him. But it wasn't no like what's happening, homie. But none of that on his part. It was like, okay, I see that nigga. All right, anyway, solo. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> it, it don't matter because I was once there. Had I not have met Solo under the umbrella, under the anointing of the Holy right, Spirit, it right. would have been tension with us, too. Tension too. Had I right. met Chili Baby unsaved, it would have been it's straight tension. tension. You know right. what I mean? Right. So, so at that time, you know what I'm saying, Chili Baby was like, boom. But when it, but when, but you had to see the, you had to see, see you had to see the transformation, man. Y'all were able to transformation where the, where the love of God, man, just broke and humbled this man. When he left, I'm talking about literally left, man. Almost maybe a thousand dollar a night travel, but maybe more than that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walked away from it, gave it yeah. up. Not just one, I think like three at that time, two or three. Yeah. Am right, I correct? Like three, like three, four houses. Three. three. Four, no houses. Walked away from it. Just walked away from the trap. I'm talking about booming traps. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so I, wa- I, wa- I walked away man, from them. But yeah, for this man to walk away from that, when when the, when when the, when the spirit of God came upon him, and like he like like Jesus told the the, the, the guys that were selling fear, because there's no difference. And that was this man's job. You know what I'm saying? These were these guys' jobs. They were sinners and they were fishermen. But Christ said, "Follow me, and I make you fishers of men." Boom! No questions asked. No, they follow Christ. So when so when God called Chili Baby, bam! There was no question. Once the, once it hit his heart, boom! And he never looked back. So, t- so, so TikTok, uh, we yeah. give us a little history of how the how the rap thing came about with all three of y'all. Okay, boom. So now we in the we in, this is really how the inception. You gotta understand. Do they do they know the original name? No. No. <laughs> Okay. Take us all the way back. Yeah, 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 story, baby. We gotta take okay, them all the way back. T- what, what TikTok? Let me ask back you. Then. Okay. TikTok. Boom, let me ask you. TikTok. Uh, let me ask you something before yeah. you get into that. How was your Go transition ahead. into coming in from off the streets? You and Solo. You, he a crip. You a blood. How did that union right. come together? Okay, so you gotta understand. See, I was, I was, I was, I was fresh out of California Youth Authority. I just did four and a half years. You know what I'm saying I'm fresh out, and I felt the world owed me something. So I was gonna get mine by hook or crook, any by any means necessary. That was my plan. I'm gonna get it, but I gotta rob, but I gotta steal, kill, whatever I gotta do. I'm, I'm gonna get mine back. What society took from me. That's how I felt. That's how my worldly mind. But God had a whole different plan for me. So I was I was living with my dad. I had to come to Pomona. You know what I'm saying? I come to Pomona, live with my dad. You know what I'm saying? Don't know about no church. But I see this lady all the time. She used to look crazy. I'm like, man, who this lady is, man? But anyway, long story short, this lady ended up leading me to Christ. You know what I'm saying? Walking me through the sinner's prayer. And from that point on, she took me to a church. At the time, it was called World Harvest. World Harvest. Uh, 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 what was it? We yeah, have World Harvest uh, Christian Church. Yeah. And uh, in Pomona, you know what I'm saying? No, was it full gospel then? Or was it all It was full gospel. Uh, I think it was full. It was full gospel. It was full. Then we changed it. it was full gospel. All right, full gospel uh, Christian center. So I went there, and it was like, man, it was like I had I had a meeting with with with, with, with the Spirit of God. I had a meeting with Jesus. You gotta know. See, you gotta know the type of person I am. See, like you just can't really tell me nothing. You can't just say, okay, Jesus love you. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, you love me, all right. And I'm gonna keep moving. You got to show me. I, I'm from Show Me State. You got to, and God knew this about me. He knew I got to show this young man because he ain't listening to nothing. I got to show him. And so when she told me, she was like, uh, she was like, son, I know you 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 accepted Christ, but now you need to make your your local confession. You know what I'm saying? And go and and, and let the pastor lead and get baptized and all this stuff. I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? But this, I ain't got no clothes. All I got is red jeans, khakis, you know what I'm saying? Red chucks, red shoe strings, you know what I'm saying? Red flag, red penalties, red shirts. You know I felt kind of like, am I going to church like this? But Tom was just my spirit. Just, I mean, I'm going to go as I am, man. This before I even knew the Bible says, come as you are. And that was in my spirit. I'm just going to go as I am, man. So I went. Boom. So it was on a Wednesday night Bible study. I'll never forget. And the spirit of God, man, just hit me so cold. Like, 
Nobody else was there. When, when they asked me, anybody want to accept Christ, I, I was going to stop sweating under my arms. I just felt uneasy. I just mm-hmm. felt something. Just, I don't know what it was, man. So, long story short, so when the pastor said, anybody want to accept Christ, she looked, Mama Lily, her name was Mother Lily. Mother Lily looked at me. I looked at her. She shook her head so lovingly, and I just got up and walked up. But when I hit that aisle, y'all, I just started breaking down. It seemed like God was just breaking me down. So by the time I got to the pastor, I was boo-hooing, not and crying all over his good chat, all over his good suit, and all this type of stuff. <laughs> and he just loved it. Yeah, man. I just was like, <laughs> I just was boo. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't care who was there. It was the spirit of God. And that's how I know God is real because he showed me himself. That day, on that Wednesday night, you know what I'm saying, almost 20-something years ago. You did. So from that point on, my conversion started. And it was a, it, it's, been a, it's been a long, rough road, but it's been a, it's been a real one. You know what I'm saying? Because it's right. real experience. Like I said, right. we're not perfect. I, I came in on Chile, but said, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. We fall down, but we get up. Right. You know what I mean? So, uh, but then, you know what I'm saying, I just, I, just wanted, I just wanted everything God had for me. So when I accepted Christ, I accepted it for whatever came with it. You know what I mean? Any and everything had to go. I didn't. I didn't even look at girls. I didn't even want to touch a girl. I wasn't selling no dope. I wasn't robbing. I wasn't going uh, nowhere. Nothing. I was at church. Just gave it all up. Nothing. All up. I mean, gave it all up. Nothing. Even all up. And the same, but you got to say simultaneously at this time, unbeknownst to me, the same thing was happening in the solo. Keeping it wow. on, but the God was just stripping him. Boom, boom, just stripping him. Now, now this is the crazy part. This is the crazy part. Solo and Chili Baby had heard about me way before they met me from one of their homegirls that went to their school. You yeah. see how God worked? Wow. They, they had heard about me, the type of stuff that I was doing back in Inglewood and all the type of stuff, you know what I mean? So, and I'll get to that too, but this is briefly. So, at this time, simultaneously, God is breaking down and, and, and washing the sins away of Solo's life. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and so... When we when we happen to just meet, but it wasn't happen. It was it was it was that divine. Uh, 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 what they call it? Yeah, uh, divine. Uh, and not intervention. Because it intervene. No, when when you did, when you when you destined to meet something. When you for your destiny. Your destiny. Uh, that's what it is. Um, you know what I mean? Divine meeting. With the, some people call it fate. I don't call it fate. I know it was it was it, it, the steps of a righteous man, the order of the Lord. You did. Yeah. 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 But God so, was already was working the, in the background because he was already, already making those, working. sewing those connections, just, just threading the needle and just linking y'all up yeah. without y'all even knowing it. That's crazy. There you go, sis. There you go. Okay. So while God is doing all this, boom. All right. So now we meet. We meet. I, long story short, I had to go stay with Solo for a while. So one day we was in the kitchen. And uh, <laughs> this is our first song. The first song came to us was Proclaim, Proclaim the, the Gospel, gospel homie. Said. Proclaim the gospel. <laughs> proclaim the gospel. Proclaim the gospel. And we hey, remember we was I was frying chicken, bro. Exactly. So so wow. so then so see so, so chili baby frying chicken, solo's at the table, you know what I'm saying? And and it just came to me. So was like, I'm proclaiming the gospel just like, like an apostle. apostle. You oh know, my and it just, God, it just materialized. <laughs> and I and the hook just came in, I just started singing it. But see, unbeknownst to all of us, they didn't know that I was a singer. I've been singing all my life. I didn't know the song was a rap. I didn't know the chili correct. We didn't even know none of this about each other it yet. Just about it brother. All came to wow. A, <laughs> it all came to, to a head that day in the kitchen. Wow. In the kitchen. Gospel gangster started and in wait, the kitchen, we were, y'all. And that time, huh. and that time <laughs> over fried chicken. Going. Over hey, fried chicken. A family <laughs> table. A family table and a family baby. meal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And at that we came up with the name Under the Anointing. Under U-T-A. the Anointing. Oh, it, it was three of us. Because it was three of us. So, it was three. so God opened yeah, God opened the door for us. Now, now this is now this is after we didn't we didn't did, you know chilling got you know what I'm saying and got his life right and Christ came into the ministry boom now we all together you know what I'm saying we formulate our brotherhood you know what I'm saying Chili Baby Solo they brothers so they close I'm I'm the add in so Chili Baby.
ladies, we me and Trinity had to, you know what I'm saying, had to meld together over years, you know what I'm saying, of working together and just seeing that, you know what I'm saying, okay, we both want the same thing. We both love each other, you know what I'm saying? We both love God. And from that love of God, you know what I'm saying, we we we, we formed a brotherhood and a bond. All of it, this bond cannot break. It, it, I mean, it's been tested, it's been bent, it's been shot at, it's been it's been all kinds of, you just can't break that bond because, like, the, 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 the scripture that says, let the Lord build the house of labor, labor in vain, that is true. God built this. We didn't have nothing to do with it. Amen. You have to Amen. understand that. We had nothing to do with the inception and the conception and the formulation of the gospel gangster. It was all divine. I got it. Wow. You gotta you gotta understand that. That's what he so, do. Boom. so once we That's had it, so now, now so now God opens the door for us to do some local things on our Friday night uh 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 jam. And it got so big it got it got out of control like like the, the pastor had to go rent some buses to go get the local kids from from, from like from all like from all type by seven, uh some 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 four five sixes were coming bus, some uh some South Ideal Crip was coming. And these were kids, you know what I'm saying, but they was coming, you know what I'm saying, to hear what you know what I'm saying with these brothers that's rapping about God so fluently. I'm talking about and at that time, you know what I'm saying, you could you could you could you could have had Snoop Dogg rapping and, and, and it would and, 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 and it wouldn't have been no different you know, sonically and musically and flow wise. You follow me? Like we was yeah. doing our thing when it was directly for God. Yeah. I mean, remember that time too, baby, uh, we was minister to the crib niggas and they was like, Man, these niggas, niggas banging Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Cause we, you, we used to go so hard, like, homie. Yeah. Because see, you got remember, like, like the times TikTok is talking about right now. These are times when you didn't have an internet, like yeah. you didn't have internet, you didn't have all of that. We had we had to go yeah, from, we had to go from church to church to church to church. Word yeah. of mouth. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. these are people, these are people feeling, feeling the movement and feeling the anointing. See, see, it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. You, you, I mean, you can say all you want. We can rap. We can sing. We do that. But if that anointing ain't there, you dig? Yeah. That's yeah. what draws people. That's what attracts people, that anointing. And we, and that's right, we didn't too much know too much about the anointing. We just knew that the hand of God was on our lives because we were still learning the word and learning about the anointing and learning things. But we just knew that God was doing something mighty through us Cracking. so we're gonna let it use us I, so it. bam so now we come now, now let's 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 fast forward a little bit well, wait a minute wait, TikTok, let, wait a minute take let, let's take a break let's play some music in here real fast let's let's, let's play okay. some music so we're gonna play brother introduce the song we're gonna play yeah Which we're gonna, pull, we're gonna pull up that uh that old uh west what we got the West, West Coast, Coast Rock. Rock. Yeah, we're gonna get yeah, that West Coast know. Rock crack and then we're gonna get West back Coast segue Rock. back into this thing. Rock, baby. Yeah, sir. Gospel Ooh. gangsters. We'll be right back to the Touch the World Radio Show. Like a bow with hydraulics. The double G's guaranteed to make it jump. Pride making beats. 
two letter to address the crowd. God say no, I think we gave them what they came for. Now with pandemonium, they begging for an go. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Touch the World radio show. We on live, y'all, with the gospel gangsters, y'all. That was their song, so West good. Coast Rap Law. Now, look, y'all can still <laughs> get their music. Don't sleep, okay? Because you can still purchase that music. Yeah, it's on get iTunes. Music. Come on, where's that, Chili Baby? Music. It's on iTunes. It's going to be on Campe Republic where you can find um you're going to be able to find rare breed new music soon you'll be able to find my new music soon tiktok book tiktok, TikTok, TikTok got book. his new book out yep, called yep. the bully yeah, every, on amazon y'all yeah. every, everybody go on amazon <laughs> across the world yes. and purchase that because Amen. it's coming from a real bully that's talking about bullying okay <laughs> so, so, <laughs> got so, my trust me, so trust me Please go pick up that copy, man. It'll change yeah. your life, man. Yeah. Yes, All right. So, look, TikTok, we Amen. are, we got yeah. about maybe 15, maybe 10, 12 minutes left. So, we got to speed it up a okay. little bit. I'm so, let's, let's fast quick. forward. A, let's I, fast forward so a little fast, bit. Fast forward, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So, we had a little situation, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? Had a little situation right after. I just felt so bad, man. You know what I'm saying? In my heart, I felt like I let God down at this time. So I was just like, you know, uh, Tony Baby and Solo, they were trying to comfort me and everything. And I remember I just, when I came to see you, I said, I had changed my dress clothes and we were trying to be something, you know what I'm saying? Trying to stand, you know what I'm saying? And all this type of stuff. And I just went, I just came back to church and I told Tony Baby, so I said, man, I'm a gangster, man. You know what I'm saying? I love God. I'm a gangster. And so it was like, me too. Huh? I'm a gangster too. What do God love? Until they like, yeah, man. We gospel gangsters. Boom. There you go right there. <laughs> so we didn't really, we didn't really know. I stuck on the name. It just came in. And from that point on, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we gospel gangsters. You know what I'm saying? We gon' we gon' we gon' be we, we we be delivered gangsters, man. We deliver G's. You know what I'm saying? And we gon' we gon' do what God called us to do. So therefore, right then and there, man, we start going forth in the power of the gospel gangsters. You know what I'm saying? The power of the might of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? He gave us to to uh, the uh uh the go ahead to go ahead and just move forward in that. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what it's yeah, been. And it was crazy. You know it was crazy gangsters. because everywhere we would show up and do shows or. Minister, people would be like, "Oh, that go the gangsters, oh, that go the gangsters, oh, that go the gangsters, oh." Oh, wait a minute, hold on, the gangsters right here. Oh, wait a minute, oh, the gangsters right. Here. We would look at each other and be like, "Gospel gangsters, oh, gangsters. you know what I'm saying?" Gospel gangsters. That was it. Is. <laughs> Let me ask a question. You know, how were you received in the church? Um, at first it was a, it, at first it was a oh. little rough in the church. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't have spots where people go pick at us and say, you know, gospel hip hop is the devil and don't listen to the gospel gangsters don't listen to uh, none of the hip-hop rap but at, at the same time though it was saving their kids you know it was right you know their kids was getting delivered from drugs getting delivered from gang banging, getting delivered from guns so after a while they start seeing it and they start seeing our walk wasn't changing they start seeing the words we were saying wasn't our wasn't changing they saying so it became minute. intervention for yeah, the it kids became for the youth. it became intervention for the youth you know yeah. like our, our music is like strictly like it's really like gang intervention for the for the kids you yeah. know what i mean for they anybody that, for anybody that's been in that rough spot anybody that put a gun in their hand for anybody trying to kill themselves for anybody that's been um prostitution on the street all of that our music is for that that's who, and who that's better who, who better to. to get it from from the people that's that's from the soil like that yeah, and, and we from and the, the soil and the piggyback and the piggyback on what chili baby said you got to say the industry the gospel industry a lot of people in the industry they weren't ready for this i mean gospel mm. bookstore they weren't ready for this you know what i'm saying it was because it was just a raw truth like you can't turn your you can't turn a blind eye to this you can't play church no more this is seriously going on children are killing themselves in the streets uh uh, uh, uh drug addicts are overdosing you know what i'm saying you can't turn a blind eye to this so what we're doing is we're, we're, we're letting you know that here's the problem and this is the solution this is the only solution it's Christ God crucified, you know what I'm saying, and risen as far as sins, you know what I'm saying, the blood of Christ. But now this was really solidified it, really in the industry. Remember that time, Chili Baby, where uh, Billy Graham, he had his, um, his youth event, right? Yep. This, 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 was, this was hands down. He had a youth event, and they asked his youth. They were like, give them a choice. Okay, who do you guys want, you know what I'm saying, who do you guys want for you guys to come perform this, time, this that, and the for this big uh, youth event that he had a year, you know, 80,000 young people and not. Hands down, bar none, guess what they all wanted? The gospel, gospel gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never forget that time. I remember we met Billy Graham at the time. Yeah, Billy Graham yeah. was like, you know what I'm saying? His 
son, you know what I'm saying? They really know how to, you know what I'm saying, to deal with it. We because get because you gotta, you gotta, and you gotta think about it too. That's a race. You gotta think about it too. That's a big. That's a racial barrier, also. Yes. Yeah. That guy yeah. from racial is breaking going over there because all of those kids was mostly Caucasian kids. Yeah. yeah. We African American kids coming from yeah. the ghetto, coming from the hood. And a lot of time back in them times, like we said, it wasn't an inter it was no internet. So you didn't have no mm -hmm. racial yeah. intermixing yeah. in music like it is now. It's so yeah. intermixed now. It wasn't like that. So the way we was moving, God used us to break racial barriers and all that, because we was going everywhere. And it was Absolutely. like back then, wow. if you didn't go knock on a door, yeah. you weren't getting in. So what everybody mm. doing comfortably now, they need to thank people like you that broke ground for that. For you sure. know, and they need to bring hey, their history. Man. You know what I mean? They need to stop sleeping on hey, their history. Man. Yeah. yeah, for real, real. So, they know, got it easy now with this internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. They can microwave it up. You know what yeah. I mean? Y'all did the hard it. work. Y'all did the it. hard work for us. You know even what I'm like, saying? Microwave they, it up. They it, even, even like that time on the 700 Club. Like, yeah, 700 Pat Club. Robinson was like, not an easy sell. Yeah, but guess he what he told us? Wow. He, said, he said, I feel you got spirit, and I believe in, I believe in the work you fellas are doing. Yeah. Right there, you know what I'm saying? We because you gotta understand, we gonna be who we are regardless. We got yeah. some games. We not gonna switch up. We not gonna start talking different. We not gonna be someone we not. I don't care who we are. You know what I'm saying? We're no respected person, just like our God is not. We gonna be us. This is what we were called to do. And that's you how everybody gravitates to. Check it. Respect yeah. It. yeah. Right, you see right. what I'm saying? Right. Raw and uncut. Even like with, like with um with the Christian Bookstore Association, they was like they didn't want it because of our album cover. Remember that time that they didn't understand it? Tell you they just seen the guns on the front and this that, and the third, but they didn't understand it until we explained it to them. Once we explained it to them, y'all tell them to they wasn't a dry eye in that building. So wow. look, it's so it's so much. We got twenty five plus years of this history to put on so we definitely gonna have to come back and do part two with this for sure and, and definitely, definitely need to sure. talk on sure. board so we want to fast forward to to present time everything going on and what god is doing in everybody's life from whatever position we at god's still moving god's still present yeah, bro he's we still, still good we god still moving. love you god we moving, still man. we still pushing this Amen. gospel gangsters every 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 corner of the world bro so moving forward with tiktok what's going on well you know uh, are you guys familiar with my situation? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sir. Everybody, everybody know, is, man. We got some guys. Everybody is. Okay, yeah. You already know. Well, well, all right. Well, you know, I'm currently, I'm currently serving a life sentence, man. You know, uh, but, uh, but even in that, man, you got to see how God is just giving me favor in, in, in this place, man. It's like, it's like, I, it's unheard of. I'm on like some of the, I'm in some of like the worstest prisons, you know what I'm saying, yeah. there are where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, these prisons where I go to, God gives me favor and respect, not only with the, not only with the other inmates, but with staff as well, you know what I'm yeah. saying, so I'm able to sow a seed of love, like the Bible said, some sow the seed, some water the seed, but God bring forth the increase, you know what yeah. I mean, I'm going to be me where I'm at, you and know he going to use you wherever you're you at, that's it. God is going to use me wherever I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, the gift of God comes with no repentance. I don't want to yeah. repent for that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I repented for certain things that may have led to this to where I'm at right now. But please believe, I'm TikTok from legendary gospel gangsters. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? And I love Jesus. Amen. And it doesn't matter who you is. I don't care what organization you with. I don't care what gang you with. You're not going to stop what I do. Yeah. So now I lead praise and worship. Yeah. I lead, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's respected. The guys love talking about from Crips, Bloods, GDs, yeah. uh, all types of the games in here. You know what I mean? And we're going to keep it. You know? yeah. yeah. And we're going we to keep that faith, bro, because I know what God did with yeah. me with a two-strike 20 to life. And he opened the doors for me. And he can do Hallelujah. anything by, you know what I mean? Through the blood of Christ, bro. So we're going to keep that faith. We're going to keep that you prayer going, know, bro. Man, and you already right. know, however we support it, we support it. And you see how me and God, exactly. how God connected me and you. And, and I was already connected to the bros, man. And we, we me and you did exactly. our personal that was thing. Crazy, we, huh? Yeah, we did the letters <laughs> and things like that to hope, you know, God willing, Amen. God to show favor for that to happen. So we... We definitely yeah. want to bring this thing back, bro, because it's a lot more history. They want to, yeah. they want to hear about yeah. it, man. And yeah, we just gonna stay connected and, and, and tell everybody to keep their prayers up for brother keep TikTok as well as gospel TikTok. gangsters because we, we moving forward. We also want to not forget our brother Solo. Rest yeah. in peace. peace. Exactly. He did, he just had his grandbaby, grandbaby today, bro. Today. We just got the news. Hey, hey, yes, hey, the grandbaby. So the, un on the today. uncles yeah. are celebrating. We celebrating we as celebrating uncles. Today. You know what I mean? No, we celebrating as uncles right. big time, everybody. You feel me? Yes, sir. That's a big thing for us, family. Yes.
family yeah. is a big thing for us, and him having his first Amen, exactly. his first grandson is a really, really big thing for us because if he was here right now, we'll be celebrating with him right now. We'll probably be oh in Arizona God. right there yeah. right now with yeah. him right now with her right now. And, you yeah. know, we wrap our arms around your daughters as well, bro. You yeah, know, for I, sure, bro, I, you bro. know, we blessed to see him uh, in an unfortunate situation with Solo's passing. But, man, they got a beautiful spirit, man. They love their daddy, man, to death, bro, and we're going to keep pushing this thing. Yep, Camp 8, baby. Amen. You know, so Amen. out of so out of gospel gangsters, we got Camp 8, which is which is, you know, Camp like Bay they Republic. say on the street, like Camp that Bay that Republic, that's the gang. You know, that's that's, that's, that's you know, that's the Ocho. <laughs> Ocho. You know, that's that's right. We got Rare Breed, we got Royalty, we got Elway, we got C D Mac. Third you know day to mouthpiece. We got piece. third day to mouthpiece. You know what I'm saying? We got TikTok, we got that's Chili right. Baby, we got Rare Breed. Yeah. You know, we're a family, you know what I'm saying? And out of this yeah. family, you're gonna see restaurants, you're gonna see books, you're gonna see Come on. all kind of stuff. We need a you know gospel gangsters yeah. book. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So we you gonna have a gospel gotta, gangsters. Gotta book. have that memoir, <laughs> y'all. We got to and have it. We gotta take we gotta take advantage of two historians while we got them, bro. So that's it. Yeah. tell his story bro we don't want nothing else Man. ill to happen before we get this history out to the world because it's, it's in the archive Man. bro yeah. and then also we want to show that that camp a republic pack that's the first thing we push yeah, that's for the, the first thing we push yeah mr solo family we we supporting him with that 40 dollar pack the rest in peace shirt the buttons the mask support that go to um legacy that's right. of unity yep. on support that legacy unity on uh facebook Legacy underscore of underscore unity on IG. Cop that. Support the family. My my bro left seven kids and now a grandbaby. We trying to support that. So yeah, go that's to right. go to go. Everybody that's listening, go to campagrepublic.com. <laughs> sign in. Leave your email. So as everything progress with the site, everything progress with us and progress with the ministry. New music we coming. Can, we can all e blast you. New music coming. What's first pop single coming. What's popping? First what's single. What's popping, baby? <laughs> That, when that first single comes, it's called, it's called yeah. "What's Popping." I'll be finished with it next week. It's gonna be out in All September. Right. It's gonna be hot. So we got some, yeah. we got some things brewing. We working. You know what I'm saying? We, we got working. some things brewing like right. coffee. It's gonna yeah. be like coffee when y'all get up in the morning. Mr. Solo got a <laughs> uh, solo album. Okay, that we so gonna wait, push wait, wait, wait. All that. So October. Can the gospel gang, well, Camp Republic, gospel gangsters come to Hip Hop Church? Camp A Republic. Yeah, we're going to yeah, make it happen. Yeah, we're yeah, making it happen. Okay. For real. Camp A. Yeah, for real. We out. We out there, we man. We're going we gonna to represent. We're going to carry this torch, man. And much respect to everybody respect, that homie. that came before us, that gave us this torch, bro. You know, yeah, cause love a lot, you, TikTok, yeah, Chili a lot of Baby, people, all day. A lot of hey, people man. like SLC, Dynamic Twins. Uh, uh, battle, right. battle wax, uh, uh, the tunnel rats, Idle King, uh, Idle King uh, Holy Ghost That's Siren, right. you know what I'm saying? Peace. Right. All them dudes. See, a lot of people don't know. Like, when you get on this mic, man, you need to know your history. Every, every gospel hip hop rapper, you need, please go find your history. You know, if you're a yeah. secular rapper, they gonna know Run DMC, they gonna know Ice T. You need to know That's right. everybody. That came from your lineage, where you come from, yeah. with this gospel hip hop, and that if you and, and if you don't know, man, shame on you. And I ain't trying to say that because I was one of them legends that came out like that. I'm trying to say because you need to know your history. How you gonna be out there grinding and somebody asks you like, oh, so where gospel hip hop come from, and you don't know? You don't know. You need to. You need to really, right. really know, and you need to really, really pay respect because yeah, I pay respect that, yeah. to, to exactly. SFC and Dynamic Twins and all them because before Gospel Gangsters came on the scene they was already they grinding did. when we yeah. came on the scene <laughs> when, when, yeah Christian MCs when we came on the scene we just you know yeah. you know wouldn't, we wouldn't just be no, something wouldn't no be no Bizzles, Lecrae's and Dayton's and and, and and all that if it wasn't for these brothers that they mentioning right now and wouldn't be no rare Man. breeze so we definitely it, got it wouldn't even that. be no gospel gangsters without right. sfc without dynamic exactly. twins, without <laughs> peace without the ton of rats and all of them it wouldn't it wouldn't be it wouldn't even be us so we trust me just like y'all respect us we respect them in a real real big That's way right. yeah. you know what i mean because so we pull grind, it together we, get this we, unity we, we grinded side by side mm -hmm. with these dudes these dudes took us on tour these dudes took us church to church and ghetto to ghetto and prison to prison along with them when we was like man so what y'all wow. be doing they like oh we've been doing We've been in prison ministry for two years already. We be looking at each other like, what? Well, we need to just hop in with y'all. You feel me? And that's, that's right. why, and that's how we did. We got we get, we got it from grinding. You know, like a lot of a lot of these dudes out here, like you say right now, they microwave rappers. You know, you put out one song and you press a button and that's it. We had to grind for this. We had to go yeah. from every church to church. Uh -huh. we, we had the people had to tell us no. 
you can't come, but behind every every door, everybody say no. It's a door that say yes. And yes. bro, don't 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 forget, y'all was critical with each other, man. If it wasn't right, it ain't getting on there. Yeah, if it you wasn't, I mean? yeah, they for just sure. Letting everything yeah. drop up if, in there. Huh? TikTok, if, if, everybody if, dropping now. Listen, if, <laughs> garbage if, and everything. Hey, hey, if it wasn't hot, if it wasn't hot, <laughs> you <laughs> wasn't on. It ain't coming. I don't and, care and, what and it just, is. Who and, is. Just, and just like Camp A Republic, once we start loading music up and we start loading movies up and DVDs and all of this stuff and books up you guys can go see because it's going to be a nice place to go sit down and hang out with the gospel gangsters you feel me so when you exactly. come we're going to make sure that An we experience. have solid books we have solid music so when you come there you're not you you know it's not like no disrespect to itunes but it's not like you're going to trying to find a nice rapper and then you go through 50 rappers before you get the one good one now right. everybody on our site gonna be knocking there so you anybody you see on knocking. there any book any pastor anything is gonna be knocking because guys people deserve the best that's it campaign that's right and this is our time y'all. a lot of people got to say see, this is 2020 you know what i'm saying but god is allowing us to see clearly literally you know what I'm saying? So we're saying through the lies and through the through, through, the, through the hypocrisy and through the fakeness you know what i'm saying and god is and god is pushing forth his people to shine this light in this dark dark time you know what i'm yeah. saying this is this is a time for believers to rejoice to to, to, to get there you know what i'm saying to do everything that god called us to do in this time right now, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what miracles, this is the time where miracles are made up. Like, now, oh, wait a minute, but in a recession, how you guys, how you guys bubbling? I mean, why are you guys not sad? Why are you not? Because what to be sad about? We serve a risen Savior. Yes, you know what I mean? So God is really moving in this time right there. Yes, yes, there's a lot of uh, of things going on, the protests, and and, like, and and a lot of people dying, a lot of people taking this, this is one fourth, and this, that, third, but believers, do not take your eyes off of Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm going to encourage you. If you don't get anything tonight, do not take your eyes off of your Savior Can't because he is up, weak. Baby. Yes, sir. Amen. So we Amen. Got Amen. We got Bankhead. Two minutes, three minutes. Oh, yeah. we got three minutes, y'all. So, so let's so, give us some quick closing statements that you want to put out there. Man, I just want to, I just, I know for me, for Chili Baby, I just want to, you know, I don't know if you guys out there never, ever heard the Gospel Gangsters say this ever, but I want to tell you on the behalf of the Gospel Gangsters, Mr. Solo, Chili Baby, and TikTok, thank y'all for listening to our music. Thank y'all for uh, letting the Father choose us to listen to. And to buy our records and to support us all these years that we've been doing this ministry because it's a lot of people that people don't even check for no more. And Gospel mm. Gangsters, that name is still really hot. Yeah, the still ministry running. is still really hot. And trust me, our fans, to every fan out there, I got some hot music for you. We do not take it lightly. And that's why our music is always solid. I'd rather put out no music if it ain't solid. I'd rather put the music out that's solid. If it take me 10 years to put out solid music, I'd rather wait 10 years to put out solid music than to take five days and put out garbage. Come on, God so, don't make so, no jump. So, so trust me, gospel gangsters coming, camp ain't coming. We got something solid for y'all. And I just want, I just appreciate y'all with all my heart. So humble all across the world for buying our music and supporting us all these years. We do not take it lightly. Trust that. Chili baby, to piggyback also on what you said, man, I'm, I want to thank I want to thank our dedicated fans. We got people out there that really, really love us, Chili baby. I mean, I've gotten some letters here that broke me down in tears. Just the encouragement and the love and the and the, and out of nowhere, it seems like man, God is just. I mean, I may be at my lowest point sometimes, feeling you know, saying you know, we go through what we go through, man. And I'll get a letter in the mail, man. I get one from I got one from uh from Africa, I've got one from Scotland, I've got one from Australia. I've got one from China. I'm talking about these letters that just come like that are finding me. You know what I'm saying? And I just almost, almost tears, man. You know, and, and, and we want to thank you for that, man, for your love, for your so, support, for your prayers, for your non-judgment, yeah. for, 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 just, for just really, really embracing the ministry, the music, as well as the men behind that. I want to thank you for that, man. Honestly, from wow. the bottom of my heart, thank you. Can't pay and uh, one last thing, you know, oh. with, with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to thank God for the, for the platforms that are still supporting gospel games and music still and continually being there for us. That's we want it. Thank you for your prayers. We want to thank all right, you for TikTok, your, uh, we getting ready to get out of here, baby. Sorry to cut you right. off, but we want to thank all you right. all <laughs> for tuning in to Touch the World Radio Shay Week Touch Show. We will do a part two of the Gospel on. Gangsters Touch History. World, so y'all get ready for that history lesson and take some notes, y'all. We love y'all for free. Touch the world. Yes, sir.